Welcome back. The east side of the West Texas A&M campus, next to the old main building, resembles a shanty town today. That's all in effort to call attention to some awful living conditions in other parts of the world. As part of their annual shackathon, five WT campus ministries are building the shacks and staying in them overnight to get a better feel for what impoverished people all over the world go through. As part of their efforts, they're also raising money in the Give a Goat campaign, where all the money raised actually buys goats for needy villages in places like Africa. As two parts, we raise money to purchase goats for people in need in the northern part of Kenya, and it culminates at an event called Shackathon, 24-hour period where students come and build shacks to paint a unique image of poverty on our campus. Over the last three years, they've raised some $50,000. That's been enough to purchase about 1,000 goats. Well, it was just about a year and a half ago when Snack Pack for Kids got started. And since then, the organization has expanded to include several school districts. It's keeping well over 2,200 children fed on the weekends by providing them with snacks. A Bushland couple started Snack Pack when they moved here and noticed Amarillo didn't have a weekend backpack program and found out how much it needed one. All Amarillo campuses now include the program. Program, as well as Canyon, Fritch, River Road, Hereford, Tulia, and Walcott. They say that helps ensure food security for our kids. Kids, when they're hungry, they can't concentrate. Just like we do when we're hungry, it's hard to focus. And we have kids in class who aren't able to pay attention. And they're thinking about their stomach growling. Amazingly, the program's founder, Dyron Howell, says they're now in the process of expanding the program into every county in the state. We'll have more about that tonight at 10. Here's something else that's amazing. An old man won a baseball game last night.